Welcome, everyone. This is day 357 of uh, my journey to 2000 ELO. Today is the first day that I'm recording from France. You guys might see I have a different setup here going on in OBS. It's because I'm on my crappy little Mac. This thing hardly uh, performs like enough to even record, let alone put this footage in and edit it later. So it, it is what it is. I'm waiting for my computer. Um, and so anyways, there are, I think, technically nine days left of this little challenge. Granted, like I wasn't really planning on moving countries again, and I haven't been able to play much chess. I would like to prolong it, but I'm just going to say, you know, whatever. I'll stick to this challenge, see if I can play enough chess, um, you know, in the next like nine days to even get close to hitting 2000. Um, and, you know, and if not, I'm just going to keep doing the series until I hit 2000, because at this point, honestly, I know that I can hit 2000 if I really just put my my mind to it and have enough time. So anyways, enough rambling. Um, let's see if this works. Uh, yeah, let's see if this works. This will be temporary. I'll have the a better setup uh, in just a few days. So I'm going to jump into. Yeah, I'm going to do a 15 minute, 10 second increment game. And it kind of sucks because I myself don't have audio. You guys should be getting audio, but I myself cannot hear anything, but that's fine. I almost think maybe I should like put on music for myself. Uh, just with my phone or something. Maybe I will do that. It's really complicated on an old Mac to use OBS. You have to like download this plugin uh, called Black Hole, I think. And it, you'd be surprised at how complicated it is just to have it record your internal audio. Um, okay, so we get a King's Indian playing against 1877 from India. I didn't check the profile, which is not good. <laughs> That's okay. They joined 2021. Good to see. Good to see. Um, seriously, guys, check your opponent's profiles before even starting the game if the account was made in 2020. I would say if the account was made in the last... Um, six months for sure abort it uh and if it was some of you might want to be more careful and say even if it was created in the last year in 2024 abort it i would have just screwed myself over there um because i forgot to check myself but anyways okay uh i know that i i need to go over my london uh, my um king's indian lines I have been playing C4, which technically, I guess, it is theory. It's perfectly fine, but uh, I might be changing that up. So, but until I'm like confident enough in the new lines, I'm gonna stick with C4. Knight C3. Usually they go for when they have D6. Usually they go for E5, and uh, I just really like it because it goes into a line where White is a pawn up, um, and and better. But they decide to play c5, which is definitely reasonable. We'll still probably go knight c3 after it takes, takes back. Um, this should be fine. And then bishop e2. Uh, if they go bishop f5, I think, I think g4 is like a no-brainer. And actually bishop f5 would be a mistake because of that. A lot of players play that in this position and I sometimes would just go like bishop d3 but um, g4 I think is more accurate okay so we get takes we'll take back and and we're playing chess what can I say guys I'm debating whether, okay, so this still doesn't work, so we can probably just go bishop b2 without thinking much here. I don't know where else they would want to go with that knight, but they're probably just trying to prepare e5. 
Um, yeah, I'm not going to think too much here. Uh, yeah, so I'm in France now. Completely different setup. Just trying to like get settled in and readjusted. First of all, my French sucks compared to where it was at, which is pretty annoying. All right, really wanting e5. Um, I don't. I won't know. I don't think I pushed e5. I don't even think I need to do anything here. Probably just castles. E5 takes take. Yeah, this still works. The tactic that I love that I love playing still works. We're just gonna castle, and unless they were to like, sometimes they jump this knight out. Yeah, we're gonna take take. Oh wait, no, it doesn't work. I'm stupid. Wait. Because it does. Pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes. Yeah. So this is, I guess, just a different variation of that same line. And it's really nice because you basically just win a pawn. E5 is just a mistake because it wins a pawn uh, due to knight takes, queen takes, displacing the rook. And then you take back and your pawn up. Uh... Uh, I just really like this line because of that. I don't know. And then you often get the trade off uh, the dark square bishops, which is just good because, you know, the queens are off the board, so it's not like black really has to worry about their dark squares being attacked too much. But still, I feel like trading off the this dark square bishop for that dark square bishop can't be that bad. And um, I guess one thing here is he might be able to get... Yeah, so But if I go here takes now you can't take anything. So if I go here and let's say he were to take on B2 check, you know, he loses a piece if he blocks with the knight. If he blocks with a bishop, then I have takes and then on the next move I'm threatening this. I think this is a pretty critical moment, I think, because I probably should play that. But I am dropping a pawn. Um, yeah, and the problem is if I go rook b1, bishop f5, which just, it comes too fast for g4. But if I were to go here, takes, check... You know, if he blocks with a bishop, takes, and pretty soon there I'm threatening mate. So that has to be just way better for white. I'm just making sure there's not some other way. Then if takes, takes, again, he can't go here. I'm just going to go g4. Not accepting a draw. <laughs> My opponent offered me a draw. Sorry, maybe they had to go. Um, We're just going to play it. We're going to do it. We're just going to be about it, guys. I am a little bit out of it. So I got in to France um, basically two days ago. Wow, they're blitzing out the moves here, eh? And I slept... 15 hours the first night. Uh, probably just, yeah, here, probably just play b3 and tie everything down. And then maybe bishop f3, put my bishop on a better diagonal. I don't have to worry really about the jump, the knight jumping around because I'm trading off the bishop and it doesn't have anywhere good to go to really. So let's just think for a second here. I still don't want to accept a draw because I'm winning uh, unless they have to go and now my opponent wants to chat please please accept my draw sorry I'm savage I'm a pretty nice person but in chess I'm ruthless and uh, you, you can resign the game but I can't I can't accept a draw not when I'm in a winning position let's just go b3 Tie everything down and whatnot. Um, okay. 
My opponent is playing very fast too. So now I could, I mean, I could drop the bishop back, but I really like the standoff between these bishops. All I want to do now is trade, really. But I could start with, let's see here, but then he has, he has takes. Right. I want my bishop to stay on that diagonal. I don't know why. Um, hmm. Got plenty of time to think here. Uh, I just... Ugh. Don't love that move. It's still winning, I'm sure, but but I'm sure it's yeah, I'm sure it's the way to go. I own the open D file, so I'm definitely winning here. But I want to be careful because yeah, maybe I have to go all the way back because as soon as he moves that knight, he's hitting my knight on C3, which I'm not huge on. So here. If bishop takes, we'd have rook. No, we still drop a piece there. Uh, we could grab the knight, but I really don't like that either. I don't like giving my opponent the bishop pair. Uh, if I go here, I do need to be a little bit mindful of back rank weaknesses. Dude, who does this? I don't get this. Like, my opponent's saying, who are you? Just play the game. Like... Imagine playing a chess game. Imagine sitting down, shaking your opponent's hand, and then halfway through the game being like, who are you? Draw. Please accept the draw. Please accept the draw. It's like, dude, just play the game. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say here. Uh, all right. We'll have mercy for my opponent, not by accepting the draw, but by moving. And <laughs> um, I'm going to drop the bishop all the way back. Kind of, or is that not very active? I feel like I could find a more active square, but no, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm still like I'm a pawn up. I have the open D file. I don't know how bad this can be, really, but I just do need to be a little bit careful of if he hits my knight, if he, for some reason, is able to move that light square bishop, so he's hitting my bishop, and simultaneously attack the knight, like, I could lose a piece that way, so this bishop needs to come to f3, I think, it's just a better diagonal, and then this knight needs to jump into probably d5, offering a trade, but I don't know, we'll see, and then they'll probably just scoot the king on over to f1 to protect the e2 square and prevent black from penetrating with the rook so i'm curious i don't know like how the camera and everything it seems to be recording pretty smoothly but i was doing this i was filming on my laptop last summer or this summer and it was awful like it was super pixely and i guess maybe it was the heat i don't know it's a super old mac but yeah, anyways, I was not really going to play any chess until I got my computer in and my whole setup like good to go here in France. But I thought, well, I have my microphone, I have my camera. Technically, I can play chess and I have like nothing to do right now. Um, I don't have a job at the moment, so loads of time to. To. All right. Um. Again, need to be careful because if I go here, I basically lose on the spot. He's hitting my knight. I'm thinking I need to go. But even then, here, no, this doesn't work because I can just take. So he could, like, grab on h3. Um, this is exactly what I just said I was worried about. Because the knight's hanging. 
and then one move the bishop's hanging. So he's going to get a pawn back, which is annoying. Unless I find a better move. Like, I suppose if I go here and then takes... I don't like, though. I do not like my opponent. So what if I were to go rook d3, but then bishop here? There's really no way around it, I guess. Knight here, bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes, very annoying. Then I can take here. This is not the game that I wanted, though. I should have done something. My opponent's offering a draw again. I should have done something earlier about that hole. I should not have moved this bishop back. Um, Alrighty. Yeah, that loses on the spot, unfortunately. Um, this, like, I can't do, I have to move the knight, which is so frustrating. And this is, like, the only decent square to go to. It's not, it could be better, or it could be worse. Takes, takes. Here, takes, takes, takes. If I move over, he takes, so I'd have to start with, yeah, okay, you know what? I'm still winning, like, it's still winning, uh, but I did not want to give my opponent any counterplay. In other words, the counterplay being they get a pawn. I don't really care about the pawn, just them infiltrating on the second rank. I hate allowing that ever. Um, and... <clears throat> it just looks messier. It would have been easier, I think, to convert if I hadn't allowed this. But like I said, we're looking at bishop takes h3, pawn takes, rook takes, king f1 is probably not the... Oh, they didn't find it. What? What is that? That's an awful move. I guess they're threatening mate. But I can just take with a pawn. <laughs> um, yeah, rook takes, rook takes. I can't take back. But I could always throw that move in. And now I'm just straight up winning a piece, aren't I? Knight d7 forks the bishop and the rook. Uh, of course, he could just take here. I can also just move. Hmm. I could go here. Wait a second. Pawn takes and then rook takes. That looks pretty bad for me. My opponent is continuing to offer draws. Pawn takes, rook takes. Just doesn't look good. I don't want to let my opponent come in. If I scoot the rook over, <clears throat> or sorry, if I scoot the king over, he can take on f2, or sorry, g2, and then king takes, rook takes. Also, don't like that. I don't want to let my opponent do anything. Like, get in here. What's my, what's your fide rating? Dude, this guy is like on Jeopardy or something. He wants to like th throw me on a podcast in the middle of a chess game. Um, <clears throat> and I haven't responded to anything he said too, so I don't know why. Um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, kind of just feel like playing this move takes, takes, but then rook here. I don't like letting the rook in, but here. Still fails to that tactic. Let's see here. 
takes, 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 but then the knight's hanging at the end of that, so that doesn't work. I'm just going to scoot the rook over, and then on the next move, I am threatening some big stuff, some big, big stuff. Um... That was a that was an awful move, by the way. Bishop d5 is a terrible move. It just put himself, he just put himself into a skewer. But uh let's see and you know make sure I don't I don't um mess this up. All right. Now we could probably just grab that pawn. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't. Everything's tied down here. The king's protecting the bishop. I want the rook to stay. And if I take here, I'm also threatening to grab the bishop and win a piece. So I think that taking on a7 has to be the move. Even if he goes rook here, takes and I'm, and I'm up a piece. So... I don't see why I wouldn't play this move. Although, does he still have this tactic? No, that, it still doesn't work because after at the end of everything, I have rook takes. So, let's grab on a7. At the very least, we're two pawns up. But, uh, you know, at the best, at, at the at the best, I don't, I don't speak English and I don't speak French. So there you go. Um, Best case scenario here is I grab an extra piece. And I just have three outside pass pawns on the queen side. Well, more like two after I push them, but still I have a three to one pawn majority on the queen side, so I can just push those. Um, yeah, what else? I don't know. Uh, Okay, this looks like a real nice move. Let's just grab that bishop, take away the bishop pair. Play bishop f3 afterwards. I don't know where my opponent's knight is going, but it doesn't look like anything to be worried about. Let's grab bishop f3. Um... I was thinking about activating my own bishop a little bit more. Like, I'd never be worried about something like this, because this is protected, this is protected. Uh, and I don't know, like, where does his knight go after that? I guess he could kind of counterattack me, but... This probably creates more of a threat. He's forced to defend somehow. This looks like a better diagonal. Reply, please. What's your FIDE rating? Reply, please. <laughs> chatty, chatty individuals. All right. Um, anyway, I am losing. That much is for sure. Uh, yeah, I'd like to trade down like one more piece. That would be nice. And then, and then just start pushing. Uh, I can't really get the rook behind. Oh, okay. My opponent resigned. That was nice. All right. Uh, let's analyze this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I... I'm ruthless, like it's chess, and um, I'm not going to resign. I probably could have, and I'm sh hoping that my opponent just had to go, but it looks like they didn't really have to go. That's always where I'm like kind of sympathetic. I'm like, oh, yeah, that sucks, like if some emergency just happens. But just take the loss. Like, you just, that, that happens all the time. Just take the loss. You don't need to like beg your opponent to uh, give you a draw by s spamming it. Sometimes I do do that, but if you're in a winning position, like I'm not, I'm not taking a... Uh, draw. Um, anyways, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, eval. Hey, look at that. I had some things saved. Um, really clean game for me today. I had 98.3% accuracy. 
no no mistakes of any kind it was nothing but book and theory so that's nice not super surprised though because like i was saying guys this is theory i know that c4 is a move you can see right here and c5 i see less often but it's still i guess is a move and like the whole idea is just preparing e5 and once they actually go for that e5 break it's a mistake like i said it's a mistake because it just loses a pawn on the spot but what's nice is that, yeah, I mean, you get like a brilliant move, uh, even though it's not that brilliant. What's nice is that not many Indian players seem to know this, like every single time they play this against me. Um, and, and it's just better for white. So you can tell right here after that trade, white's already winning. White's already almost two points up, all because of just the position and you're a pawn up. Um, Anyways, all right, so the rest of the game here looks like the rook d1 was a good idea. It was pretty forcing. They had to take, otherwise they're losing even more. Here, okay, bishop f4 is interesting. That does look better. For some reason, I did not like, I don't know, I did not like any of the other squares. This at least keeps the bishop like on a somewhat more active square, and it's hard to kick away. Um, I was sure, let's see, knight b to d7 is good, knight b5 is best, that's good. Yeah, I was sure that bishop d5 is not a good move, there had to have been a better move, I don't know what it was, but, uh, king f1, wow, really clean game. Glad to see it, glad to see it. Okay, well, I'll probably keep playing, um, and you know, not record those, but I will be putting out a video tomorrow, assuming today's video, like, doesn't look like absolute garbage. Uh, I'll put out a video tomorrow, and then when I get my new setup, we'll be getting at it, man. You know, we'll be making more videos. I'm gonna be streaming a lot on so many different platforms. I can't even stream right now on this Mac, but whatever. Um, if you guys like this, please like, subscribe. There will be lots more coming out soon. We're gonna have viewer tournaments, uh guests on stream lots of stuff so like subscribe and i will see you in the next video